Hey, how you doing? It's Craig to here, and in this video, I'm going to do a quick comparison between Capture One and Adobe Lightroom Classic. I'm going to go through a number of portraits, so remember to watch this entire video to see a number of different examples. All right, so specifically in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at some portraits, and we're going to look at how Capture One and Lightroom handle the highlights, the dark areas of an image, the saturation, and the sharpness when you import a raw image. So the images that we're going to be looking at in this video are straight out of camera. The only thing I've done is I've made a white balance adjustment and I've made the same adjustment in Lightroom and the same one in Capture One. So that's the only adjustment to these images is that I've used a white balance adjustment. This is the spider checker upside down. <laughs> but this is the square you use, this gray square, so I use that. All right, let's have a look at a couple of different images in both photo editors. So let's take a headshot first, and we'll look at some of the sharpness of the image, we'll look at the dark areas, we'll look at the highlights. And I'll zoom in in a second so you can get a look at this, but I just want you to see. Now look at this, how this looks a little bit more three-dimensional. There's some really bright highlights, some darker areas, some sharpness, and some saturation. Now we'll go to Lightroom. We'll pick the same image. I believe this is it here. Yep, 725. Now I shot this on the Canon 5D Mark III with the 135 millimeter f2 lens, and I used the portrait lighting setup. These are right out of camera. Look how this looks a little more washed out. Look at the highlighted areas. Look at the darker areas. Look at the saturation. Look at the sharpness. I'm going to zoom in here, and it's Command Plus on the Mac to zoom in. Now look at the overall highlights and the dark areas, the texture of the skin, the sharpness. Now we'll go back to Capture One, and we'll zoom in again here. So it is a little bit more on the yellow side. We can adjust that white balance to taste. I think Lightroom has the white balance a little bit better, although there's a lot more saturation in this image. It's a little bit sharper, and I find that the darker areas are darker, and the highlights are brighter. So it seems like there's a wider dynamic range. To me, it almost seems like we shot this image on a better lens that gave us more saturation, that gave us more sharpness, more detail, and more dynamic range. That's what it looks like in my opinion. So we'll go back to the Lightroom version of this image again. And you can see here, it's just a little more washed out. It's just a little more flat looking. We'll look at it again. So here it is in Lightroom, and we're going to go to Capture One. And you can see the saturation is a little bit more rich. I think the color balance is a little too yellow for me in comparison, but I don't ever really go by the white balance anyway. I usually adjust by eye. So we can make complete adjustments to this white balance and really get it what we want. Some people say is that they think that the sharpness that's added to the raw images in Capture One is just too sharp for them. But you can totally disable that on export or you can adjust that any way you want. These are raw images. So you can do a lot of different adjustments. So let's see how this handles red. Red is kind of a difficult color. Let's zoom out so we can see this whole dress. It looks a little bit on the orange side here. Let's go to Lightroom and look at the same image, see how it handles the same dress. And we'll zoom out here. And again, this looks a little more blurry, not quite as sharp, but I do like that red. I think we can achieve the same color red in Capture One, but I think they got it a little bit better here when it came to the white balance right out of camera. But if you look at this, look at the dark areas in this image, look at the highlights, look at her arm. It almost looks like I was doing some burning on this image. Now, if we go to Lightroom, it's not quite there the same way. It's just the darks really aren't showing up like they should be for some reason. And again, it looks a little soft to me as we zoom in at her face and her eyes and her skin and her hair. And then we do the same comparison in Capture One. I'll zoom in again. You could see it just seems a little more three-dimensional, a little more sharp, although maybe a little oversaturated in this case. So it's really up to you which one you prefer. All right, let's have a look at another image. So here we've got the red dress again, and look at the dark areas of this image, look at the highlights of this image, look at the overall dynamic range, and the sharpness, and the color saturation, and we'll go to Lightroom, and here we go. And you can see it's again, it's a little flat, it seems a little washed out. We don't quite have that dynamic range, that saturation, and that sharpness that we're getting in Capture One. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and here's how you can save 10% off Capture One if you decide it's right for you. There's a link just below this video, and you can download a free trial to Capture One and try it out to see if it works for you. If you do like it, use the coupon code AMBCRAIG on checkout. It'll say discount voucher. Just put in AMBCRAIG. That will save you 10%. I'll put a link to the free download below, as well as 
the coupon code that you need to save 10%. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, let me know. Leave a comment below. Let me know, do you think Capture One looks better than Lightroom? Which one do you prefer and why? Also, if you found this video helpful, share it with other photographers on the web, in photography forums, in Facebook groups, and so on. Also, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And while you're doing that, you might as well hit that like button as well. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching this video. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you in the next one.